Hey guys, today I'll be showing how to make a butterfly knife. So let's start by creating a sketch. Uh, so we can work on the handle. So create a rectangle. Draw a line so that we get a sort of a taping effect. So now we're done with the sketch of the handle so we click finish sketch and now we can extrude the sketch by clicking extrude or you can use a shortcut key E. Now you can modify the edges by using fillet or chamfer. And now we've completed one of the handle. So now we have to just change the position of the body a little so that it can be mirrored properly. Now I can press the shortcut key S so that now you can type mirror so that you can access the mirror function and make sure you select bodies and then select which body and then select the mirror plane which is the xy plane now and then hit ok now we can start working on the blade now create sketch make sure that it stands into the circle you get a symbol like that so that you know it's the tangent now you need the points on the other handle so press P shortcut for project and project the points required now we can trim the unnecessary parts and hit finish sketch now you can extrude this part make sure it's a new body now I have to make a hole on the blade so it matches with the handle click H for hole function and make sure it doesn't cut any part of the handle now we have to move the handle again this is rotated so click rotate and in last axis select that axis and rotate by cut them off and similarly with the other handle now again press H for the hole function and create another hole on either side and in the middle make sure it doesn't cut off any part of the handle now we can work on the blade again you can hide the other two bodies and create sketch Cone curve is also a good option to get pretty good curves for this blade or you can just create a very large circle. 
you can adjust it by pulling the points to get a better shape and click finish sketch now you'll have to extrude the parts out now extrude the blade again and again extrude and make sure it is new body you can unhide the other bodies now and you'll have to you have to basically you have to mirror the handles again later on now we can add some finishing touches to the knife using chamfer Now to complete the blade, just copy the two handles to the other side. Make sure you first set the correct way, fix it properly and click create copy. Rotate it by 180 degrees and move it towards the x y direction by a certain amount. And click OK. Similarly for the other one. Now we have to join the two handles. So you can hide a pair and create sketch. Now you can extrude and unhide the body so that it joins. Don't have uh, to cut, make sure it's joined and then click OK. Now the design is complete, let's move on to the motion. First you have to make all the bodies a component, so click some bodies and make everything a component. Now we have to ground the blade and create a join, as well join. You can use the shortcut for as well join, which is shift J and make sure you select the revolute between the two surfaces and click OK similarly for the other hand revolute and OK so now we have to make certain limits so that they don't intersect overlap with each other so enable contact sets and Enable new contacts and make sure and join the two components so that they don't move together. Now create cylinder in the holes on the blade surface. And go back and extrude again. Make sure it's joined. Now make these two as components and click OK to ground these two new cylinders and make new contact set between the handles and click OK and now I think it should be fine it, yeah so now it will move to a certain extent and will not intersect with each other. 
Oh, let's work on the range of rotation. So. And similarly for the one, so I click on the joint and then edit joint and then edit the minimum maximum range. So now it looks good. Now you can render it for a better look. And that's the butterfly knife.